Kwabna Kobi Kobi What is it? What do you want? Uh, I just want you to help me rub my back. So because you are pregnant, I cannot even do one simple thing in peace. Hold my hand. Hold my if you like, sit there. Did you put sit me in this there. situation? Kobi! Thank you. Women are symbols of spirituality, love, sacrifice, and above all, our strength. We are part of the development of this world since we are the fabric that weaves the beauty out of it. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matters. Tonight, I'm talking about the problems of antenatal depression. As we just witnessed, women go through lots of challenges. I would like to tell you a short story about Angela, a beautiful young woman who got pregnant. Everything was going on smoothly. But why was the causes of it? Because of lack of financial support, hormonal imbalances, stress and anxiety, and body changes. I believe and I know there are a number of people out there having similar cases, just like Angela. Growing up, I witnessed the strength of a woman. However, I also saw the devastating impact of the antenatal depression. One most painful thing is to make love with your partner, get pregnant, and later on go through a lot of challenges throughout your pregnancy. The heartbreaking aspect of it is that it affects the women mentally, socially, emotionally, as well as the health of the unborn child. A research was conducted in 2022 at the Confanot Teaching Hospital, and doctors interrogated 22.2% of those who were willing to talk about pregnancy in their homes, violence. And those who decided to talk about violence in their homes were also 33.3%. And those who were not willing were also 77.8%. And those who decided not to talk about violence in their homes were also 66.7%. Those that the doctors interrogated, 94.8% of them were married, 3.4% of them were not married, and 1.8% gave us no response, whether they are married or not. With this chat, we can see that there's a testament and a reality to the violence in our pregnant women's home. So let's ask ourselves, why would a pregnant woman decide not to voice out, even though she's being violated in her home? Most of the time, the answer that we get is because they are scared and afraid of losing their marriage. On the perpetrator's chat, we can see that 40% of the act is committed by the husband, 12% the landlord, 6% the brother, 6% the stranger somewhere. But with this chat, we can see that most of the perpetrators are around the pregnant woman, creating an uncomfortable zone for her. Even though it's stipulated in the Article 27, Clause 1 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, and it states that women are to be given special protection before and after childbirth. But because our pregnant women decide not to voice out, perpetrators keep on flouting the rules. But I say no more with a virtual support app called the I Care Ghana. With I Care Ghana, we create a platform for pregnant women to connect with each other, share their experiences, and encourage themselves with it. And also, there's inclusive emotional chatbot that tracks the mood of these pregnant women 24-7 and detects the slightest depression to give out helpful tips. Working hand in hand with the Ministry of Health, we can create awareness and educate our men and family members about the cruciality of antenatal depression. Together, we can create a safer and more supportive environment for our pregnant women. Thank you. <laughs>